Hello, hello, welcome back to another video. I wanna jump right into it. This is gonna be a fitness video. If you guys don't know, I have a passion for running specifically on the treadmill. I absolutely love doing treadmill workouts. I have been seeing the 12, 330 going around. I don't know if Lauren Geraldo technically made it up herself. I myself have done 12, 330 in the past, but either way, I wanted to try out the 12, 330 again show what it's like and do a quick review what it is do i recommend it is it something that i think everybody should incorporate into their cardio routines so let's get into it so first things first what is 12 3 30 it is essentially a workout routine that has been created for treadmill exercises so you are going to maintain a 12 percent incline on the treadmill at a speed of three miles per hour for a total duration of 30 minutes and you maintain all three settings for the entire time of your workout so the treadmill that i have at home is a nordic track brand it has a highest incline of 12 percent and the highest speed setting of 12 miles per hour i would like to mention that i have seen treadmills that go up to a incline percentage of 15 but the 12 330 you just need to put the incline all the way up to 12 that is what it looks like if you see in the reflection of the mirror having an incline of 12 percent essentially mimics what it would feel like walking uphill versus incline of one percent it feels like you are just walking on a flat surface so bumming the incline up for your workout is meant to help activate some of the extra muscles in your glutes and in your legs give a little bit more of resistance and challenge I think a lot of people could gravitate to a workout like this because of the benefits that it does have. Low impact, builds lower body strength, improves cardiovascular health, helps to burn fat, as well as improving balance, stamina, and strengthening your bones. I do know that there is quite a huge chunk of the population that absolutely dreads cardio and especially hates treadmill workouts they can seem a little bit scary at times and i think this is one of the reasons why 12 3 30 went so trendy and viral was that it was only 30 minutes and that it essentially seemed like walking for weight loss and who wouldn't want to just simply walk for 30 minutes no huge commitment doesn't feel like you would burn too much calories but still get a good burn in and maybe not sweat too much so the assumption could potentially be so who could this workout be good for i think this workout is great for people who are in good health or could potentially have issues with their joints or muscles i would classify the 12 3 30 as a beginner style treadmill workout not too hard not too easy but still great if you're just looking to ease into being on the treadmill and when i say ease into it i literally mean please ease into a workout like this because it is for a duration of 30 minutes and if you are not used to walking on an incline this steep you do need to ease into something like this it can easily go from being a beginner type of workout to being a little bit more high intensity if your body's not used to this kind of movement for a long duration so what do you do with your hands for 30 minutes of walking i would suggest you anything you have to do to avoid holding on to any part of the machine or holding on to the handlebars it is easy to feel like you do need a little bit of a break whether that's a break for your back your abs your hips your legs your knees and want to compromise form lean forward and hold on to it that's when you need to push through a little bit and try to keep your hands off as much as possible. But of, but of course, if you do feel like you need to touch the machine at any point in time to regain some stability, or if you are feeling pain, hold on or stop. 
I mention this because it is so easy to get caught up in the moment of working out on the treadmill, whether it's doing a high incline or a higher speed, and you start to compromise form. And compromising form is the easiest way to get an injury, whether that is an injury to your hips, your knees, your ankles, or potentially fall right off the machine. So at this point in time, I have done about 20 minutes so far, so I am more than halfway done. And I will say the first 15 minutes of the 12 330 does feel very nice. It feels light. It feels like a warm up after that 15 minute mark is where you really will start to feel a good slow burn. You will start to sweat. So if you think you are not going to sweat in the 12 330, I'm here to tell you, you will sweat and it feels amazing. Okay, so about 10 minutes left of the workout, feeling good, feeling great. I would like to mention if you are somebody who is potentially used to long walks or more intense workouts, or if you are accustomed to being on the treadmill, something like the 12 330 may feel a bit too easy or potentially a little bit boring it still can be a great workout but if you are looking for something that is a little bit more challenge there are times for me where i felt like i could just do a model walk throughout the entire 30 minutes and dance through it you can maintain a conversation which is great but you are still working your heart there are times where you may feel tempted to bump up the speed just to get into a little bit more of a jog as well. So I will say this, I have seen people who have reviewed the 12330 and have tried it for say for instance the 15 days, 2 weeks, 30 days and in my opinion to be honest, I think I would get a little bit bored maintaining a speed of 3 every single treadmill workout i would want a little bit more of a challenge i do feel that after maybe five to ten sessions doing the 12 330 you will get used to this type of pace and want something a little bit harder so my final thoughts do i like the 12 330 yes would i do it again yes would i do it over and over again probably not would I recommend it for people who are looking to try out working on the treadmill? Absolutely. Next big question is, how many calories do you think you can possibly burn doing a 12 330? So this is what I look like, 13 seconds left. I'll show you the display. Okay, so finally done, 30 minutes, 243 calories, smashed. So I hope you enjoyed my review. Give it a thumbs up if you did, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.